A few days ago, I saw this headline that read, Nigerian banks suspend card withdrawals abroad. So basically what this means is if you have a Nigerian account or card that you used to receive uh, dollars with, now you cannot be able to do this because the cards have been suspended. So um, a lot of people have been messaging me and telling me that they are UBA uh, prepaid cards, Naira denominated, does not work anymore with PayPal. Uh, you can see here on one of our videos, um, one of our subscribers commented and said that I created successfully, uh, that I created my PayPal account successfully, but I, it keeps on declining my Naira prepaid Visa card and there is money in it. So I, I tried to inquire from them and they let me know that, yeah, they've activated the thing, it's, it's working, but it just will not work on PayPal. So that's when I remembered this whole story and this news about Nigerian banks suspending the cards. But already before now, you guys know that I don't advocate getting your money in, from dollars to Naira from any platform, be it PayPal or Payoneer. If you get your money in dollars, you should try to get it into a domiciliary account or any type of dollar holding account. That's my recommended method. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to videos where I talked about this and the reason why you have to be getting your money in dollars anyways. So right here, you can see this is my prepaid dollar card it's linked to my account and it's working just fine you can see the evolve bank and trust which is also a dollar account from transferwise and then the community federal savings bank account which is from payoneer and these are the three accounts i use and they are all dollar denominated so the the best thing for you to do right now is to get yourself a dollar card a, a uba prepaid dollar card or any other type of dollar account. I, I show a couple of ways to get this. I, I show how to get this and this on the channel. So you can check out our previous videos. I also leave links in the description. If you're in Nigeria, this is particularly for you. Just wanted to bring that to your notice, just in case some of you are trying to get a card to withdraw and maybe you knew in the past that the Naira card works. This is just a heads up for you to know not to get the Naira card if you go to UBA to get your card. So get the dollar card because that's the one that is guaranteed to work. At least for right now maybe they're going to change this policy because i know that the cvn is clamping down on 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 the banks and saying that they're going to stop to fund people who do arbitrage and all of that type of stuff so there's a lot of back and forth going with the banks and cbn and availability of the us dollars right now so um that's the reason why all of this is happening so probably they're going to reactivate the whole cards and then the nara card can come back in use but for right now the best thing for you is the dollar card and of course again the dollar card is the best because once you get that card you are going to get your money in dollars but i need to give you a, a warning anyways it's it's very difficult or a little bit more difficult for you to make a withdrawal from your dollar prepaid card over the counter than it is for you to do from your domiciliary account so you don't even feel it a teller as you as you would normally from any other account so you'd have to write a letter to the branch manager or someone they will tell you who to address it to asking that your account be unloaded that's usually the, the language they say to use so it should be unloaded for it now to be available for withdrawal so usually anytime i go to the bank to make a withdrawal from my prepaid dollar card i always expect to spend nothing less than an hour regardless of the queue in the bank i expect to spend nothing less than an hour because once i write that later i have to wait sometimes i go out and come back later but i have to wait for that um for the for the money to be unloaded like they said before i can actually withdraw so that's one thing to take note of so what i do is i just um keep withdrawing to my card and anytime i go i know i'm trying to make one huge um, transaction so i don't get a little bit of money and just run off to the bank because i know i waste a lot of time so that's just a heads up as well for this card and that's really the only drawback and i think it's well worth it so again i'll leave a link in the description check out the video why i said you need to be withdrawing in your dollar anyway without regardless of the trouble that you have to go through it's advisable that you withdraw your money in dollars so that will be all for this video guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.